as we go along in business, we should have money to invest, either it is small or big business. Money is the center and it is very important. We, as a group, we have a total investment and we expend a lot for our business. So, total investment, it simply refers to the amount of money that a person has in a given place. Good day, ma'am. I am Charmin May Bartolaba and now I will, I will present the total total investment of our business so the projection will be made for a time period of one month only so the total investment of our business includes cash with which is 11,950 second is the office supplies which worth 1,000 pesos and the next one is the store rent, which is 3,000 pesos. Tarpaulins, tarpaulin for the name of the product, which is 150 pesos. And the internet cost for promotion, so it's worth 500 pesos. And the cellophane pouch for packaging and for the print, for the product label, cost, cost 400 pesos pesos and the total investment total investment of the business is 17000 pesos since our business is a corporation so um each one of us um gives or pledge pledge for the pledge for the capital of our business so that would be all and thank you. So the projected daily cash inflow in Zisling Tower Chips is the sales of cash inflow every day. So cash inflow is a daily update in our business. So sales here is the 25 pack times 60. So 25 here is the um, the pieces of the pieces of um, Zisling Tower Chips every day that sales in in amount of 60, 60 pesos so 60 pesos here is the big pack of existing tower ship so 25 pack or 25 pack times 60 pesos is equals to 1500 so next is the 10 10 packs times 30 so 30 here the 30 here is the small um this is a small um this is the amount of the small pack of um, sizzling tar chips so 10 packs times um, 30 pesos is equal to 300 so that is the total uh, the total of this one is 1800 so that is the total cash inflow of um, sizzling tar chips every day next is a statement financial position so next is statement of financial position beginning so our product is Zisling and Chisi Taro Chips Corporation as of 2022. So assets, we have here our current assets, 11,950. This is our cash. And next is office supplies. Uh, this is 1,000 pesos. Total, 12,950. So next, non-current assets. So we have here store rent. 3,000 pesos. Next is tarpaulin, 150 pesos. Internet cost, 500 pesos. And we have also cellophane pouch printed product level, 400 pesos. So the total of these assets is 12,950. So, and the total liabilities and Donors' equity is 4050 So, Zisling and Cheesy Tarot Chips Corporation capital is 17,000 pesos. So, 
In income statement, so Sizzling and Chasey Taro Chips Corporation income is we have 13,155 cash. And we have monthly expenses which is um, 1,500. So the sales of this product is 25 times 60 times 10 times 30 is we have 54,000. And the cost of goods sold for case is we have 405. It is times by 30 days. So um, for 405 times 30 is equals to 12,150. So in the front end, in um, 50 times, it is times by 30 days. So 50 times 30 is we have 1,500. And the packaging is 45 uh, 45 times 30 days, so 45 times 30 is we have 1,300. Corporation overhead in the office supply, we have 1,000. 1, and uh, for the store rent, we have 3,000. And also for the transportation is we have 600. And the labor is we have um, 600. And the maintenance is uh, we have 1,500. So, income statement is one of the three important in financial statements. Um, it is um, with for the reporting of companies' financial performance over the specific accounting period. And with, with the other two case statements, so which is the balance sheets and the statement of the cash flows. So, in the income statement, we only focus on the four case items which is our revenue, expenses, gains, and the loss, the losses. So, it does not differentiate between cash and non-cash receipt. So, that's all for income statement. Return on investment or ROI is a metric that measures how profitable an investment is. ROI compares how much you paid for an investment to how much you earned to evaluate its efficiency. ROI helps you understand how much profit or loss your investment has earned. Return on investment is a simple ratio that divides the net profit or loss from an investment by its cost. Because it is expressed as a percentage, you can compare the effectiveness or profitability of different investment options. Amount invested is 17000 Underlying consumptions of our product, which is the Zisling Taro Chips. So first, this product is demand and it will not change. Second, all purchases and sales will be strictly cash basis only. Third, all products will be sold at 60 pesos per pack for 500 grams and 30 pesos per pack for 50 grams. We sell it in canteens and stores and nearby municipalities. Fourth, renting a place where we can make our product cost of 3,000 pesos. Five, all the members should be responsible and cooperate to make this business. For the six underlying assumptions, there will be one delivery boy who will be responsible to deliver the products worth 300 per day. Number seven, there will be a member who can manage and a treasurer of the business. Number eight, the materials for sizzling and cheesy tar chips eat costing work. And for the weekly inventory will be completed and wages will be paid after weekly inventory and there should be an inventory personnel that will be responsible for daily inventory using the FIFO method or first in first out and there should be a social media team responder 
who is responsible for assessing the queries of the customers regarding to the product. Financial Statement The projected for one month is amounting to 54,000 pesos at a price of 25 bucks for cheesy taro chips. More or less all the expenses and tax it has a projected net income of 71,800 pesos. Financial ratios show that gross profit is within approximately less than a year. So doing business like sizzling and cheesy taro chips is very risky because a lot of people is doing it already. But our product is different from them because we have a unique flavor and we will make sure that our finished product is tastier and cleaner so that the customers will come back over and over again. So we will be honest in our package. We will be honest in our details. What you see in our package is what it contains so that we will gain the trust of our customers and resellers and we will make sure that we give them the satisfying group so that they will purchase again because our product is very affordable and mouth-watering. As you can see on the picture, the target break event point of sizzling and GC taro chips business will be estimated in the mid-year. So in between June and July, the business will experience lack of supply of taro, which is the main ingredients of our product. Because during that month, we can experience rainy season. And we know that heavy rain can affect the growth of taro. However, in the month of December to May, our sizzling and cheesy taro chip business will surely pop up because it has a lot of supply during the summer season. And it has a high demand during that time. Since many of people having fun eating chips, most especially the teenagers and young ones, and between that month, students having sim break or vacation. So they have more time in eating and exploring different kind and flavor of chips. And we will make sure that the taste of our cheesy taro chips will catch up the customers. The more supply we have, the more we can produce cheesy taro chips product. Hello everyone, I am Roslyn Dahao and I will proceed to the balance sheet. Sizzling and Cheesy Taro Chips Corporation's balance sheet. Daily cash flow. So balance sheet per day. So for the assets, we have cash of 11,950 pesos and for the OP supplies we have cost of 1,000 pesos and we have a total assets of 12,950 pesos for the liabilities we have the storage of 3,000 transportation of 600 labor of 600 delivery boy of 300 Silophane pouch with printed product label of 400, tarpaulin of 150, internet cost of 500, and equipment maintenance of 1,500 pesos, and the product promotion of 400. So for the total liabilities, we have 6,400 pesos. For the owner's equity, so we have the capital of 12,950 pesos and the net income of 72,000. So, total equity of 84,950 pesos. All in all, so we have the total equity and liabilities of 12,950 pesos. So, that's all for the Sizzling and Cheesy Taro Chips Corporation's balance sheets. Financial Analysis Yes, it is feasible because our project is what we call Cheesy Taro Chips. As we choose that product, we decide what it's worth and what it's profit and the financial ratio. This analyzing company's performance and trend by calculating financial ratios like profitability ratios which includes net profit uh, divided by sales. Our project is feasible because first, we conduct our project as a business 
like to investigate and we decide on how to start by collecting an opinions towards our groupmates in order to prove our business product which approved by the majority. And we conduct a product instead of potato chips, we use unique one which is the cheesy taro chips. Taro chips is planted widely over the world. It's like potatoes that can be used to produce starch and eaten as vegetables. Nowadays, people begin to, to produce taro chips from fresh taro with a similar production line to potato chips production line. It's popular among people for its wonderful smell, amazing delicious taste, crispy, sweet, and high nutritious value. The following are the financial analysis statement which is horizontal style. And for our total investment organizational cost, as you can see, our cash is 12,555 pesos. For the office supplies, which is the things that we are going to use in our office, it's 1,000 pesos. Store rent, which is the store that we are going to sell our products, is 3,000 pesos. Our transportation is, is 600 pesos. Product promotions is we have 400 pesos. Our labor is 600 pesos. And for our maintenance is 1,500 pesos, which is the total investment of this is 19,655 pesos. Then we compared three years for our cash, same name of expenses, and total investment. So for the year 2020-22, we have a cash of 12,555 pesos, followed by the expenses, so we have 1,000 pesos, 3,000 pesos, 600 pesos, 400 pesos, another 600 pesos and 1,500 pesos which is a total investment of 19,655 pesos for the year 2020-21 our cash is 11,000 pesos only then followed by the expenses which have 900 pesos 2,500 pesos 400 pesos, 300 pesos, 400 pesos, and 1,000 pesos, which have a total investment of 16,500 pesos. For the current year, our cash is 1,555 pesos only. Then followed by the expenses, is we have 100 pesos, 500 pesos, 200 pesos, 100 pesos, another 200 pesos, and 500 pesos, which have a total investment of 3,155 pesos. So below is the amount of change over base year or the percentage change of the current year. So for the cash, which is 1,555 pesos of the current year, it has 71% of change. Then for the expenses, the 100 pesos is 9% only, 500 pesos is 5% only, 200 pesos is 20% only, 100 pesos is 3% only, then for another 200 pesos is 20%, then for the 500 pesos which is 5% for a total investment of 3,155 for the current year which is 8%.